Huntsville City School Board discussed making significant changes to its disciplinary policy. One board member opening the possibility of expelling an elementary student. Options discussed following the latest incident where a student accidentally fired a gun inside a bathroom at McDonald Elementary last Tuesday. News 19's Archie Snowden takes a closer look at the story and has more. Okay, thank you, Greg. In a heated exchange, outgoing school, outgoing, outgoing school board member Elise Farrell uh, is calling for the expulsion of an elementary school student who gets caught with a gun in school. Now, the other board members are saying we well, just slow down because kicking a kid off the campus is not a part of the discipline policy. According to the Huntsville City Schools Policy Guide, a student cannot be suspended for processing a gun on school grounds or firing the weapon. The discussion came up at the Board of Education meeting following yet another gun incident at a Huntsville Elementary School after several students were reportedly handling a gun in a restroom when it discharged. Although no child was hurt, the incident sparked a debate among school board members about changing the current discipline policy. Ryan Renard, a District 4 school board member, says an elementary student at that age bringing a gun to school is the negligence of a parent. But that really does start, just like any other disciplinary action, starts and stops at home. We can control as best we can um, discipline inside of the classroom while they are inside of that school building. But what they bring into that building um, is very, a very difficult thing to manage. Outgoing school board member Elisa Farrell disagreed, saying if a student endangers the life of others, that student must face expulsion or kicked out for more than a year. But the current policy states that if a student brings a gun to school, the weapon is confiscated and the parents are notified of the suspension, but the student will not be expelled. Renard says that Farrell's suggestion is way off base. I'm eternally grateful for Ms. Farrell and Ms. Wilder. Um, they both went out of their way with my onboarding into this position. But it, it, it does trouble me at times to hear individual people make comments or demands for the system when it may or may not reflect the overarching um, view of the system. Renard says that right now the plan is to stick with the restorative panel meetings policy. Again, I struggle where we try to make policy uniform across the board into a one size fits all because there's absolutely nothing about public education that is one size fits all. Certainly not in regards to disciplinary action. Now just months prior, a student at Sony Herford Elementary School also brought a gun to school and that gun discharged. Now Huntsville police are conducting an investigation on the McDonald School Elementary on how the kid obtained that gun. For now, we're live. Archie Snowden, News 19.